Hello everybody, last week I read several times the question how do you integrate hardware synthesizers into your Bitrix setup and that's actually pretty easy first time maybe a little bit difficult to set up but if you have you configured it once you can simply forget about it and in this video I will show you how to do it. On the left here we have Bitwig and what you need to connect your hardware module with is one thing is audio so the audio output needs to be somehow recorded in Bitwig and Bitwig needs to have the option to trigger MIDI on your device to tell the device to play a note. This can be either the analog outputs so then you need to have an audio card where you can connect these outputs and MIDI outputs can also be the good old MIDI 5 DIN cables where you then also need a MIDI interface where you can plug that in in Bitwig or your module has a USB connection which might support both MIDI and audio. So then you only need one USB cable to connect to your computer. If you have set it up then in Bitwig you simply create a track. I have here the track for my Hydrosynth and then you can add to the track a hardware instrument and for the output you need to select now the MIDI output which is here connected via USB so I also get the name here Hydrosyn Deluxe where I send the MIDI to you need to make sure that the MIDI channel is the correct one for your device so here it's simply one and then for the return channel you need to select the audio inputs where you connected your device and this also requires a setup so in the audio setup of Bitwig here are the input buses and you need to add here a stereo bus or a mono bus depending if it's only maybe a mono analog synth and then you need here is a Hydrosyn Deluxe to select the correct inputs and then this will show up here in this selection list and there you can say I want to have my Hydrosyn Deluxe here and I could even play it and then see here the signal so it's easier to select the correct channel. And after this you can treat this channel exactly like you would use a VST plugin or an internal Bitwig device. Looking at another thing is if your synthesizer has also a keyboard and you want to use this keyboard as a remote master keyboard which you also would like to play other Bitwig devices or VST instruments or other hardware synths as well. Then you also need to have MIDI going out from a device into Bitwig so you need the bidirectional connection here either or again with a MIDI 15 cable or if you have a USB working then you don't need to do anything it's already good to go then you need to configure that so all external controllers be it a knob controller or be it a keyboard need to be configured first in Bitwig this works here in the settings in the controller section and if you only want to have a dump keyboard you can simply add the generic script so if you just go to controllers generic and then you can simply say you want to have this stupid MIDI keyboard here which just supports notes and the pitch band but that's totally sufficient if you just need a keyboard and with that you can then select this here for the input normally all inputs are selected but you could also just select here now our new hydrosynth input which we configured here I forgot to show that so where is hydrosynth so here is uh, the hydrosynth configured simply we select the input and output here as well I have my generic flexi script here but if you would need a simple one the one I showed you only need to configure one output this is totally sufficient to have it working that way and then one thing to note is that you should set up this keyboard to local off what does it mean and how do you do that you will notice if I now go to polysynth track so there is a polysynth bitwig device and if I play now that you will see I get twice the input I get the input from the polysynth and I get the input from the hydrosynth but I only want to play the polysynth on your hardware synth here on the hydrosynth for example I can go here in the setup section go some pages down there you see this setting a local is set to on and if I switch it off it means that the keyboard is no longer triggering the internal sound generator so it only sends out the MIDI data to bitwig and bitwig then if you have the select that the track with our hardware instrument will then send back the MIDI here to the audio engine and the audio engine will play. If we are in Bitwig on the Polysyn track it will now only play the Polysyn and only if I have selected the Hydrosynth track it will play the Hydrosynth. 
So, and for example, if you want to play an arpeggiator like in that sound we have here, you want to make sure that it's synchronized to the tempo here in, in Bitwig. To make sure that this works, you need to go here in the settings and for that device, you need to enable here the MIDI clock settings. You could also enable them here in a hardware device. You could also say here, enable MIDI clock. I prefer the global one because then you don't can simply forget about it, but make sure you do not enable both because then you will get double the tempo, which normally is not what you like to have. And also playback needs to be active. So, so you can also adjust that. And so let's just check it out. Let's like, let's record something, turn on the metronome. So back to zero. So we have this going now and the question is how can you record that and some people in the forum suggested to create another audio track, select the input of the hydrosynth and then press record. This does definitely work but why go the hard way? As I said you can treat this as a normal Bitwig device or VSC instrument and you can simply say you want to bounce it. So you say bounce and the only thing you need to be aware of to enable real-time recording because it's all external audio playing and we need to record the full audio and cannot speed up the process like with an internal instrument where you just have the calculation running. So let's try it out. Let's go to OK. And what Bitwig is also doing for you, it will do twice, go through the loop. So it loops then the second part, so the second repeat, so you get a perfect loop for your clip. So what you then can do, you can, for example, copy the name, which is sadly not done automatically by Bitwig, which I think is a bit of a shame. And if you don't need the MIDI one, you can deactivate that track and then you have you know, your normal playback going as well. So pretty easy to set up. And what you should also do if you have created such a hardware instrument track, just add this to your default template you use in Bitwig. So every time you start Bitwig, you have your full studio environment correctly set up so for example you see all my hardware synthesizers are connected like this exactly with hardware instruments or also the modular setup with a modular instrument which is also working nicely so you are always ready to go and don't need to think about anything and that's really the great feature of Bitwig and I hope you get this going if not if you have any issues please write it down in the comments or also if it worked for you I like to hear from you and until next time Make some fun keys.